as much as I love her more than anything in life. Listen, if I could have a million kids, I would. I love children, okay? Hello you guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. It is bright and early on a Monday morning. It's 6.55 a.m. but we've really been up from like 5, sometime after 5 a.m. I left her inside of the room because I fed her and she's chilling. But right now I am pumping and I've been pumping for about almost an hour. I just started this the other day because I'm like, hmm, I could, um easily pump for an hour this one is completely full some even spilled you see i'm gonna have to change this listen to her in there crying like the world is ending seven ounces i don't think this one is as full no because last night i fed her from this side last so normally in the morning the side that i fed her from last isn't normally as full because sometimes she wakes up and she's not in the mood for you. She wants her food and she wants it now. So I'm just preparing these. We're gonna go get her. She's fed, she's fine. She's codependent. <laughs> but also she's a baby, so it's okay. Hey guys, it's been a few hours later. I changed my top like I told you that I would because I got milk all over the other one. Right now it's 9.49 a.m. She's been up for a little while, just moving around in the bed. Um, and I was just laying there too, because I felt so exhausted, even though we slept for, she's up for eight hours. So I made sure that I had her food ready when she was awake and I slept for about the same amount of time too. But I felt so exhausted. I don't know what that was. Hey, sweetie. I should do something to your hair today. <laughs> She wants to sleep. Put a bottle. I love when she yawns and makes that little noise. It's so cute. Honey, you wanna hold the passy until until the milk is ready? Here. I really hope she goes down tonight and sleeps nicely because tomorrow we have her doctor's appointment at 9 a.m. And then I have a dental appointment, so you know I want her to sleep good so she's not like a grumpy little girl tomorrow. Especially not at her appointment, but um, yeah, I'm gonna look for things for her to wear Well, I think I pretty much figured out what she's gonna wear already. So when she wakes up in the morning I'm gonna have to get her dressed in that. So I'm gonna take my vitamins. I have rituals I have to take two of those. These are prenatals. I have ginkgo biloba From memory because the girl can't remember nothing. Omega-3 and fish oil. Amlodipine It's for blood pressure. And then I have my birth control As much as I love her more than anything in life. Listen, if I could have a million kids, I would. I love children, okay? I love my kids, I love people's kids. I love kids in general. I think they're amazing. And I feel like you could definitely enjoy your life with kids. Everyone has their different opinions regarding that, but that is just my opinion. I've always enjoyed, I remember having my first daughter, Dijani, and I've always enjoyed her and being her mom and you know and I didn't feel like I missed out on anything even though I had her young I was pregnant when I was 15 had her when I was 16 and I didn't feel like I was missing out on anything at all after I had her I had people who would watch her for me whether paid or free and I still did things that I enjoyed doing going to the clubs going to parties here and there so right now at this point in my life I feel like I've lived and fully enjoyed my my life my younger days and stuff I don't feel like right now there's anything that I'm missing out on. Um, yeah, that is my union lady. Oh, she's such a good help. You guys, it's already 80 degrees outside and as soon as I come out here in this common area, I can feel that. So I'm gonna turn the air on in the living room. But it's just I'm making this bottle for her. There's a minute left on it. Maybe since it's open, it'll, um, this Tommy Tippy bottle, I realized that there are some holes on the little sides of like a thing on there and when I have it in the warmer, if I have it covered, it boils over through the thing. Because the thing is like a straw. It's right here. We are retiring to the living room a little bit later today. But like I said, yesterday was quite the day. 
And it wasn't even a terrible day, just in the afternoon she was a lot fussy. After 6 p.m., after I cleaned her up and, and she was basically ready, she was so fussy. Like, um, she slept for like 15 minutes and then she woke up and her and I were chilling for a little bit. Her dad came home and then even he had her and she was not in the mood. So she didn't fall asleep until like after 9. What is that? Oh, you sped up. One thing's for sure and two things for certain. My back always looks like that. It's okay. That's why I normally have the burp cloth over me, but I just dropped out the other one. You guys, I have this set up for almost a year and I've done nothing else. So I'm going to try and mount this mirror. I'm praying to God in heaven it does not fall out of the wall. <laughs> I have my screwdriver. Let's, let's see. Let's see if this goes anywhere at all. I don't really know. so damn heavy but it would be perfect on the wall guess i'll just take my supplies back i'm so irritated it's too heavy hi guys what's all this i don't even know this is a bit uh, her emergency room bill they said it was denied so i gotta see why i bought her this little outfit from aliexpress this was $8. No matter. Anyways, this looked like I bought it for like when she's a year old or something because I don't know what size she would be wearing this. It's a, like a jumpsuit, but I bought it bigger than her so I could take monthly pictures for her and see how she fit it out. I bought this little pumpkin. It has pumpkins on it. Let's see what size this is. When these clothes come in centimeters, I don't know what size that means that it is. And it has this little, I guess this is a headband. So guys, the other thing I got were these three bibs for Mia. And these ones, it's not three, it's four, has like a little plastic on the back that makes it waterproof. Because right now she's in the phase where she's drooling. This Christmas runner was on Amazon selling for cheap. So I bought it from now because I'm going to need another Christmas one for the table. And that was basically all that I bought. Did you guys see this? I want to take monthly pictures for her um, from like birth to when she's a year old so i think i bought this at like 12 to 18 months i can see how she fills it out over the period of like 18 months of her life so yeah i'm gonna drop these in the washer and i need to figure out this coordination of benefits form that my job sent me again i also decided to get life insurance for her so oh they sent me a paper that i'm supposed to basically sign up and mail it back to them in this envelope and we definitely need life insurance for her it this just sucks that i'm not able to speak to somebody over the phone like i prefer to be able to speak to somebody over the phone because who am i paying my money to you know what i mean and for this because i feel like everybody needs to have life insurance for their kids and for babies like Hi. this is saying for a five thousand dollar plan you would pay $2.17 a month. $10,004, $15,005, $20,007, dollars $30,011 a month you would pay for your child to have life insurance. So I definitely want to do that and I'm going to do the $11 plan for her to have life insurance. I need to read through this though because I need to make sure that this is whole life. All right, so we're going to... We're gonna look into this. I don't want a term plan like 30 years or whatever. I want whole life. So for the rest of her life, she would be paying $11 a month for life insurance. So that's great. So we're gonna read into this a little bit more. Hi y'all. So I had to walk to some random address to find my package that FedEx delivered to the wrong address. Best believe I strapped the baby on me in her carrier and I walked to the block to find it because I need it now. And I called FedEx and that was disastrous. Also, the people have a camera on their porch, so I'm pretty sure. I thought this was bigger. I'm pretty sure my picture is going around somewhere on the internet thinking I'm a porch part by the time y'all are watching this. 
I bought this for Mia. I've seen it going around and I think she'll enjoy it. Especially with tummy time and everything. Hi y'all, so I just cleaned her up for the evening. Just did a quick wash and I'm gonna pin them out inside of the living room on my little drying rack right there so they could dry. And um, she she just did two of the biggest burps, mainly because um, she drank four of it ounces. So, trying to put her to sleep. Let's see if she'll go. And then we're gonna put out the clothes. That's kind of it for her for the evening right now. It's 6.56, so basically 7 p.m. If she stays up for another 30 minutes, she's right on cue with the time that we normally get everything done every single evening. So there's that. So now I'm um, just waiting for her to go down. And then hopefully she stays down so I could take my shower and stuff like that. Right now she's not sleeping. She doesn't really seem sleepy, even though when I had the bottle in her mouth for the last like few sips, she was definitely falling asleep, but we'll see. Anyways, this is where we're gonna wrap it up for today. I hope you guys enjoyed running along with us today and I'll see you guys in the next video. So will she.